Um, as far as your recommendation to consume a significant amount of calcium daily, um, you know, aside from calcium lowering parathyroid hormone um, and I guess in, increasing um, lowering inflammation and I guess increasing cellular metabolism, um, what uh, what other reasons are for for recommending the high, the high calcium diet? Wouldn't because some people have been emailing me and saying if somebody is in a state of calcium overload, given the, giving them that extra calcium, wouldn't that uh, make things worse for some people? Um, uh, no, uh, the, the the harmful calcium overload uh, usually results from uh, high uh, uh, parathyroid hormone, which usually goes with increased aldosterone and and other problems. Uh, but the, the the overload is intracellular under the influence of the anti metabolic action of parathyroid hormone. Uh, and so vitamin D uh, and calcium uh, act first to uh, knock down uh, parathyroid hormone, the, the lower the better, uh, uh, and uh, uh, let, the, let the cells uh, uh, return to the, uh, the self-maintaining uh, state. Uh, people who have had their parathyroid hormone uh, parathyroid glands removed surgically uh, for kidney disease uh, are often recover from lots of the symptoms of chronic kidney disease. Uh, their, their sleep improves. Uh, 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 they might stop having seizures. Uh, uh, a lot of uh, inflammatory things are decreased when they simply cut out the, the parathyroid glands. Uh, but uh, that's because the, uh, there are poisons being produced mostly in the intestine uh, when the kidneys are, are failing uh, that drive up the parathyroid hormone. Uh, and uh, in, if your kidneys haven't deteriorated, then taking vitamin D and getting lots of calcium uh, will uh, hold down your parathyroid hormone uh, and uh, let the cells re-energize themselves and get rid of their calcium. Uh, and uh, when I talk about vitamin D, I mean, I mean the uh, uh, cholecalciferol, uh, definitely not the uh, one comma uh, twenty-five hydroxy or dihydroxy cholecalciferol uh, that activates the so-called. Uh, calcium or vitamin D receptor, <clears throat> and uh, those are activated by high parathyroid hormone, and they do uh, the dirty work of, of the high parathyroid hormone. Uh, uh, turning on lactic acid production is is one of their essential uh, actions. Uh, uh, production of lactic acid uh, in in the bones is uh, the, the sometimes useful effect of parathyroid hormone. Uh, when you need to draw calcium out of the bones, uh, the uh, parathyroid hormone makes lactic acid locally and dissolves uh, enough calcium to move into the bloodstream. But <clears throat> if you have persistently high parathyroid hormone, then uh, that keeps acting uh, and uh, you're constantly moving uh, uh, calcium into the uh, uh, bloodstream and in the presence uh, of the lactic acid being produced uh, everywhere in the body under uh, the influence of the uh, parathyroid hormone, uh, then the calcium uh, uh, gets stuck in all of your tissues. 